Who would have guessed that being aggressive could be so beautiful? Tap into your inner demon and unleash a flurry of attacks. Welcome to my guide on the dual blades. Hey guys, this is Gaijin Hunter. What follows is my weapon tutorial from Monster Hunter Generations. And if you already know everything from it and you just want to jump to what are the changes in Generations Ultimate, about the new art, alchemy style, and valor style, jump to the timestamp in the description down below. If you're new to Generations or you want to have a refresher, please sit back and enjoy the entire video. This weapon is all about toggling between normal and demon mode, but don't worry, it's not nearly as complicated as it seems. Just be aware that the motion values in this tutorial might get a little complicated as we step through each mode. Like every other weapon, everything derives from the guild style, so we're going to start there. Okay, first let's cover the basic moves. The draw attack is a nice charge and slash. It's good for closing distances. You can also press X and A at the same time to do it as well. Press X after it to do an upward slash. Note that if you press X after an evade, you'll also do the upward slash as well. Okay, press X while you're idle and you'll do a downward slash. Press X one more time to do the reverse slash. And finally, press X a third time to do a downward slam. You can do this 3 hit combo after the X plus A and the upward slash to do a 5 hit combo. Okay, now let's look at the A button moves. Press A while idle to do a vertical slash. Press A again to do a jumping slash. Note that you can do these two A button attacks pretty much any time during the X button combo. For the vertical slash, if you hold left on the circle pad when you press A, you'll do a left version of the attack, which is actually a little bit more powerful. The follow up attack will be a left jumping slash instead of a right jumping slash, but the power doesn't change for that one. And finally we have the normal jump attack. Okay, now on to the good stuff, which is Demon Mode. Press the R button to enter and exit Demon Mode. While in Demon Mode, your stamina will decrease, and if you get hit or if you run out of stamina, you will get pushed out of it. You can also draw into Demon Mode by pressing R, X, and A at the same time. During Demon Mode, most of your attacks change. They'll do more hits than normal. They're 15% or more powerful. Evades become a Demon Dash and you get access to some cool moves like the Devil's Dance and the Slingshot Attack. We'll cover all of these. Okay, first let's start out with the Evade. Press B to do a Demon Dash. It's fast and it's aggressive. But it also eats to your stamina, so make sure to use it in moderation. If you do a Demon Dash off an edge, you'll do a special jump attack. You can also press X in the middle of the air to do a special jump finisher. For all the other attacks, you're going to lose all those small attacks and get powered up versions of the combo finishers. Press X while idle and you'll do the downward slash. However, this move now has a finisher for itself as well, so if you press X the second time, you'll do the six way slash. For the A button, instead of doing the weak vertical slash and then the jump, you go right into a jump which becomes the double jumping slash. After the first jump in this move, you can do four different things instead of following through. You can press R to exit demon mode. You can press B to demon dash out of it. You can press X plus A to do a devil's dance, which we'll cover in a second. Or you can do X to do my favorite move, the slingshot slash. It's not actually called a slingshot, but that's what it looks like to me. It does six hits and slingshots you forward towards the monster. And I consider for Monster Hunter Generations, this is a game changer, but you can now press the special button on your touch screen to do a slingshot attack from idle position, which is absolutely amazing. Now, a special move exclusive to Demon Mode is called the Devil's Dance. Press X plus A to do it. It's a massive 11 hit combo that you'll stay stationary the entire time. Note though that 80% of the damage of the combo is the first and last hit, so make sure that you can connect with the whole combo if you're going to use it. Okay, now it's time to go into Arc Demon Mode. On the upper left hand corner of the screen is the Demon Gauge, and it'll fill up as you hit monsters while in Demon Mode. Once it's filled, it'll start to glow, letting you know that you've now entered the Arc Demon state. 
which is basically demon mode without the need of going into the stamina depleting demon mode itself. The gauge isn't hard to fill at all, so it's really not such a bad upkeep cost. Now the demon gauge will slowly deplete over time, or if you do special attacks, but you can easily go back into demon mode and quickly refill it before it runs out. In arc demon mode your moves are faster and you get the stronger demon mode attacks added to the end of each of your combos. The finisher at the end of the X combo is now the stronger version of the downward slam. And the second hit in the A button combo which was the single jumping slash is now the demon mode's double jump. And most importantly the X plus A or draw attack becomes the wonderful slingshot. They'll even let you keep the special jumping attack as well. Now the one downfall to Arc Demon Mode is that you do lose the Devil's Dance, but in its place you do get a special Hurricane Slash. All you have to do is press X plus A after another attack to do it. It's a slightly weaker version of the Devil's Dance, but it is a lot quicker, and you can evade out of it. However, it does eat through your Demon Gauge pretty fast, so be careful definitely not to abuse this move. You can also follow it up with the Slingshot by pressing X. Phew, so that covers Guild Mode, a lot of stuff, huh? So now let's go into the other styles. Striker style. In striker style you lose the arc demon mode completely, meaning that you only have the demon mode to use. So you better be using the armor skill called runner or using stamina juice. Just like the older Monster Hunter games, this style is all about spamming the devil's dance. However, to make it much more easier to spam, you can now evade out of it at the very end, making it a much less risky move to use. Aerial Style Aerial Style has a few different things that you can do depending on which mode you're at. So if you do the Aerial Vault in Normal, you can then do a nice jumping attack. If you do the Aerial Vault in either Arc Demon or Demon Mode, you'll have a crazy crazy spinning Demon Slash. If you're in Arc Demon Mode, you can press R mid-air to switch into Demon Mode so you can go crazy the moment you hit the ground. One of my favorite revisions is that they took away the ability to do the Devil's Dance from Idle on the ground. So what they did in its place is if you press X and A, you'll go right into the slingshot. In order to get the special jump attack off a ledge, instead of being able to do a demon's dash, you'll have to do a slingshot off the edge. Adept Style For Adept Style, you'll lose the special demon mode aerial attack off an edge, but trust me, it's not a big deal. After an Adept Evade, you'll do a run-in where you can then start your normal upward slice combo, which is nothing special, but in Arc Demon and Demon Mode, it totally changes. Right after you do your Adept Evade, which now becomes a full-on attack, you can do up to two free demon dashes simply by inputting a direction on your circle pad. It's also worth noting that if you're in Arc Demon mode, just by doing an Adept Evade, it will add up to your demon gauge without having to go into demon mode, which is huge. Okay, before we do a recap and talk about which style we like most, let's take a look at the hunting arts, all of which are really cool. The Spinning Top. You'll do a series of spinning attacks, and you can change your direction using your circle pad in between each one. At level 1 you'll do 3 spins, at level 2 you'll do 4, and at level 3 you'll get 5 spins. At the end of the final spin you'll do a powerful finisher attack. The Aerial Spin You'll have to do this move into or off a ledge, otherwise it'll fail to activate and you'll waste it. But if you can do it right, you'll do a quick run and then a massive jumping spin attack. If you hit the monster with the spin, you'll also follow up with a powerful finisher, which also does huge mounting damage. Inner Beast Now this art takes a very long time to charge up, so by the time you can use it, it's almost the end of the hunt, but trust me, this will help you win the hunt. For a limited period of time, every attack you do will get an additional hit. At level 3, the additional hit is worth 30% of the attack damage of the attack you just did, which is pretty crazy. At level 1 it lasts for 60 seconds, level 2 90 seconds, and it lasts for a full 2 minutes at level 3. Not only that, you look really cool. Okay, now some final thoughts. Guild style is solid, I mean you get 2 hunter arts and you get all the normal moves. However, I'm not personally a fan of the striker style, but if you really want to use all 3 hunter arts and you don't mind spamming the devil's dance over and over again, this could be a fun style for you to use. Aerial is insanely fun, and almost all the negative cons of the aerial style are gone with the dual blades. An adept style being able to evade through anything and remain aggressive the entire time is really something. Personally, I think aerial and adept are the best, and I can't choose between the two because I love them both so much. 
I hope you enjoyed this guide, dual blades are stupidly good in Monster Hunter Generations. However, be aware that they pretty much removed any good paralysis weapons for it, which really does kind of fix the balance breaker issue that they had in Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. Changes The dual blades were awesome in Generations, so I'm happy to say they really didn't make many changes from Generations to Generations Ultimate. The only one worth mentioning is the Adept style. The Adept Evade that you can do, uh, they made it a little bit weaker, but honestly it really wasn't the main source of your power anyways. And they did change it so that if you were in Arc Demon mode, anytime you were doing that Adept Evade, it was like recharging your Demon Gauge, that no longer happens. So you have to be a little bit more mindful of your Demon Gauge, but it's not that big of a deal. Then finally, they did improve the aerial art, the aerial spin, um, allowing you to now do some directional adjustment as you do the attack, where before you were kind of like committed in one direction, so it definitely makes it more versatile. Alchemy style. I'll admit I'm not a big fan of alchemy dual blades. Not only will you lose your slingshot, which is my nickname for my favorite sort of forward spinning move, uh, but also when you're in arc demon mode, your X combo now ends in the hurricane slash, which if you remember is the poor man's devil's dance that eats up your demon gauge like crazy. As a benefit, you do get access to the alchemy barrel, which charges up pretty fast with each devil's dance, and the rate in which your demon gauge decreases over time and with dashes is reduced a little bit. Valor Style Now this is going to be one of the most popular weapon style combinations in the entire game, similar to Valor Heavy Bowgun. It's just too good. This style removes the entire concept of going into demon mode and arc demon mode, which personally I love. When you're not in Valor mode, it's basically the dual blades as you know and love them, but without the ability to go into demon mode. And there are two things worth noting. One, if you press R, which normally would bring you into demon mode, you'll now do this new dash run. This will tear through your stamina, but you'll move around very fast. If you still have stamina, you can hold down the R button and run even further, so very helpful if you're using dash juice. Finally, of course, you have your Valor Cancel attacks. While you hold the Y button to sheath your weapon, if you get hit, you'll automatically put away your weapon and take only 30% damage from the attack that you countered. Or when you're holding Y, you can press X to do a forward slash. Or hold Y and press X and A, which I know is a little tricky to do, to do a slash combo. Once you're in Valor mode, the fun really begins. You'll go into permanent Arc Demon mode as long as you are in Valor. You'll get the slingshot attack back, woohoo! And you get two attacks worth mentioning. The first one is the true devil's dance. For the true devil dance, you can only do it inside of a combo, so you can't do it from idle, and it does take a little bit longer than normal as you have that animation at the top. Think of this as like going into demon mode for one move only. Your attack power is 15% stronger during this combo, and it does a tad more damage than the normal devil's dance, with five more motion value and 12 hits instead of 11. The true gem of Valor though is the R button dash. At the top of that animation, it now gets a counter window. If you get hit during this, you'll not only counter attack and you'll be able to continue attacking, but you'll also recover six units of sharpness as well. So if you have this paired with like razor sharp, that's like 12 attacks worth of sharpness. You can do it to avoid all sorts of attacks, even those that normally require guard up to guard. It's insane. My favorite thing to do is to hit the A button afterwards and you can do a slingshot in any direction you wish. New Hunter Art This new Hunter Art for the Dual Blades is pure hype. You'll do a spinning drill attack straight at the monster. If the part you hit is 40% or higher weakness, you'll even do a fast drilling cuts and finisher as well, so make sure you aim this thing at a weak spot of the monster. Overall, the Dual Blades are fantastic. They didn't make any mistake like they did way back in Monster Hunter 4U with the Sharpness modifier, so it's just as good as it was in Generations, and the addition of Valor Style is just insanely fun. Now, if you can prove me wrong and show that Alchemy Dual Blades can be definitely interesting and there's something there, then I'm all ears, but I definitely think that the Aerial, Adept, and Valor Style are all three of the top popular ones for this weapon. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this look at this weapon in Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. Hit that like button if you liked, subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, happy hunting.